I knew this was coming for a long time, and that is the YouTube burnout that I am feeling currently. Now, uh, I want to make it clear that I am not quitting YouTube. That is not at all what is going to happen. But I want to explain why exactly I'm feeling this way and what led up to the events of me feeling this way. So on December 25th, which is Christmas, I had received a new actual computer. Not a laptop, a computer from my parents for Christmas. And this thing was awesome looking. It, it was, it had two terabytes of memory and it had a big screen, 27 inches. So uh, well, the first thing I did is I wanted to test how well it could play video games. So I got, a, I got my Steam account logged in and I quickly downloaded my favorite game, Dead by Daylight. And you'd think with those two requirements, they would have at least made it to where it performed decently, at least given me, you know, 50 to 60 frames per second, you know, that would have been decent for me, especially for a computer like this. But no, it's not even a gaming PC, it's a regular PC. So I realized it was going to make it harder for me to record videos on this computer and I would have to stick with my old laptop. Just, just to be clear with you, I'm actually recording this on my old laptop right now. Because I still am kind of new to this PC. But I was upset. Because, I, like I said, it was going to make it harder for me to record videos. It was already kind of a struggle for me to record videos. Because when I would record with OBS, the frames would sometimes drop pretty low. And it would make it kind of hard to record. And you would know this because I would complain. So, um, the first thing I did is, afterwards I realized this, I went to go talk to my father. And told him my frustrations, and he initially shook it off, because it just sounded like I was being ungrateful. Because he had bought me a expensive computer, most likely, and with 2 terabytes of RAM and a really big screen. You know, like I said, 27 inch screen. Now that's 68.58 centimeters, like that's around that amount of centimeters, if you do not measure in the same system I use. So he, um, he initially shook it off because I sounded ungrateful. And frankly, who wouldn't sound ungrateful? Because it's like, I did, basically saying you didn't do good enough after he bought me a really expensive computer. So I then let him use my PC because he asked me if, I could, if he could use my PC. And he did, and he played a game of Mahjong. I don't know if you guys have ever played Mahjong, but it seemed kind of fun. And then I, comp I apologized to him, and then we compromised. He said he'd be willing to get me the parts to upgrade my PC to make it a gaming PC, or at least to where he could decently run um, games on it. And I need at least a i7 uh, Intel processor, which this one has a i3, an i3. So... Um, but when I initially realized that I couldn't game as well on this PC, I had an emotional breakdown. I was actually crying. And I was pretty upset because, like I said, it would have been harder to record. And it's one of the reasons I haven't been recording that much because when I do have to record, it is a painful process because the frames drop so low and it makes it kind of stuttery. So after like a few different sessions of crying throughout uh, that day and the day, the next day, uh, the 26th, and listening to Bob Marley's Three Little Birds, and if you had never heard that song, How Dare You, that is one of the most amazing songs ever made, um, I stopped and asked myself, why are you upset? And then I turned to God for a minute, I had some prayer sessions, and if you don't know, I am quite religious, I just don't really bring it up during my videos, because it, it's kind of a struggle, but I realized that I've hit a very low part of my personal life that's put a lot of stress on me. And it's kind of been that way for a few years now. In 2020, uh, a lot of stuff happened, obviously. Like, we had um, the cough cough, and it was made me stuck inside the house with my family members. And it continued, obviously, into 2021 and broke off in 2020, uh, mid-2021. But by mid-2021, I, I was hit with the realization that I am a grown, almost a grown man. 
And, you know, I'm, I'm not a kid anymore. Now, obviously, I wasn't a ki- I was still a kid then, because I was like 16 to 17, but the realization was coming back, and then it kind of faded in 2022, but by 2022, when I started my senior year, I realized that I was in the last part of my regular school life. You know, this was not, uh, this was about to be the end of being in high school and being in school with the people, the same people I've been stuck with. Well, not the same people, but around the the same amount of people I've been stuck with for the last uh, nine years because I didn't live, I didn't like grow up in that school. And then, of course, um, there's some stuff, and then that doesn't even help with home life. You know, because then after, of course, going to college, starting college and going to college, at home, things are not going so well either because my father is extremely ill, my sister has moved out of our house, and my mother and I have a somewhat strained relationship. Not a horribly strained one, but still kind of strained. So it puts a lot more stress on young adults like me that had to go to college and then immediately come home to people in my house not being so well. So I turned to video games specifically Dead by Daylight, and it was at that point that I put the pieces together and I realized that I'm not happy because of my life situation, not because I'm ungrateful. I mean, it did, it, don't get me wrong, that sounded ungrateful. I even sitting here right now and kind of gross and kind of grossed out at myself for the way I treated my father, but I realized that I need to start focusing more on school instead of like trying to also squeeze in a video or two every week because you can kind of tell just by my upload schedule that I struggle with uploading videos because it's like I'll upload a video once a week or once every two weeks and then I'll get another video and it kind of varies in quality. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. So um, I need to start focusing more on school and making a better man out of myself. So what does this mean for the channel? Well, like I said at the beginning of this uh, video, I am not quitting YouTube. I am just going to probably not have like a video, uh, any videos during most months. So basically, if I upload a video here in January, you probably won't see me with about two or three more videos until March. And um, I'm probably going to be posting more like real life videos like, you know, I have only one and and like the YouTube shorts I believe and that was when I was hanging out with my buddy at school and we were just goofing off and then I also might start using the community tab and I never really use that but I might as well start using it now so I can at least check in on you guys for twitch now I can probably still do twitch because it's basically just playing dead by daylight or playing other games so I can probably still do that so keep an eye on my twitch For Discord, I'm going to remain on my Discord for um, the foreseeable future. And if you want to come to the Discord, just join the link. That'll be in the description. But, um, yes, I'm going to be taking some time away from major content creating. But, of course, like I said, this is not the end. So, until you see me the next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.